Many people claim to know the truth. They usually say that there is one truth. I think I've come to the realization that there are many lies. And there is not just one truth. It seems like we all have different truth to find. Um, <clears throat> as I continue to go and discover and theorize, I see that under this dome, ironically, King Dome, right? The dome. Um, there are many of us who perhaps are of different species, yet occupying a human body. What am I trying to say here? Well, you see, we have never seen a, a dog become a lion or, <clears throat> or something evolve from a dinosaur to something else, right? We have never seen it. Uh, they, they can tell us a lot of things and at the end of the day we all think, well, we didn't pay too much attention to the science class and now they have changed what they said or, or maybe they never changed it. Everybody just has hypotheses, theories. That's all it is. And uh, so I'm going to give mine. <clears throat> and I think that maybe in this game or in whatever reality we are in, <clears throat> there used to be different species. Um, so there were elves, trolls, werewolves, witches, and other kind of species, um, reptilians, yeah, you name it. The elves are usually the ones that have the pointy ears and uh, usually when they have a child, the child is very pretty, it's very cute we think. And then the child grows to be what the majority of people think handsome or a beautiful woman. Uh, <clears throat> the trolls um, are very interesting because they usually have children that are very nice looking. And then when they grow up, they, well, we would, we think they are not that good looking. That's actually, and, and, the, and the funny thing of everything is that L okay as we are in a place called l is actually teaching us things through a tell a vision t l vision right and um, one will see one will see stories that de deliberately uh, made movies about a princess called fiona who was really cute and then later on turned into a troll. And uh, the truth is, well, trolls are good looking in their own way. They're just a different species. And uh, maybe the majority of the inhabitants of this reality now might think, well, it was such a good looking child and it turned out not to be such a good looking adult, right? Well, that's probably because of the troll blood. Now, is it bad to be a troll? No. Is it bad to be an elf? No. What about a werewolf or a, or a vampire? Or No. We're just here. We're different species. We don't know exactly much going on, but one can see the different species living among each other. And then there might be some who have lived here for thousands of years they haven't died and those are the ones that are changing their bodies and uh, pretending they die and they grow old and then they 
are born and continue. Well, um, I just put bits and pieces of what I have seen, um, what I have heard from uh, my ancestors, and uh, and there comes the theory of all people living here and being like humans, right? Coincidentally, there are shows on TV also that go with this theory. Uh, for example, there's a show about uh, Snow White and uh, how all the different species were trapped and came into under some kind of a dome and then they don't have magic powers anymore. Well, so did I get my idea from that show or did the show somehow get the idea that I got? You can think what you will, but the thing is that if you pay close attention, there are too many similarities, too, too many rare things happening in our day-to-day -day life. So, what is the truth for an elf? Well, the truth for an elf is different than the truth for a werewolf. And there is a different truth for a witch. And this is why a lot of times when somebody rises and says, well, I think I've discovered something, it sounds different than somebody else. Because we are different species here, finding our own truth. I think we have something in common. I think there is a hole in, on this earth that most likely is flat. And that hole is at the North Pole. It's an exit, you can call it. And sun gazing, or they call it the soul searching. Yeah, it's good to do soul searching. Well, soul actually comes from the word sun. So l looking into the sun, I would advise it to, to do this when the sun is at, at its peak. I would say that in the morning or when it's about to go down so when it's mild in your eyes you don't have to really stare at the sun you can look a bit down but this is very it's very good because i think we have a connection our soul we call it soul within us comes actually from the sun and uh, it's it's how we can manifest our intent here they have tricked us into believing that magic is a, a trick. It's only something children believe in. Well, if that is what you believe, then that is what it will be. But then not everybody has so-called quote-unquote magic, right? Magic is actually just the use of the force, as they call it in Star Wars and things like that. <clears throat> if you If you believe something and you see it then some of us have the power to manifest it to make it real in this world and some or for some people this is just it just will never happen so i'm not talking to those people i'm talking about i'm talking to the people who actually know that there's more beyond what the eye can see in this world there's a reason why some people in this world are extremely extremely rich and then there's the rest that are fighting to have a better life in a day-to-day -day world called L or hell or whatever you call it that's just that's just what it is is there a reason why to be beautiful in this world you say she's a bell like L, bell, you are intel, intellectual, if you, if you are intelligent, <coughs> you are <coughs> an elite, el -it. <coughs> if you are one of the best, you are a jewel, if you are somebody precious, 
is it just a coincidence or is there something else is there a message being told to us you see i think there's a message even looking at this door why would somebody have such an elaborate door handle or is there something else see i think there are clues everywhere and uh there's a reason why some people get out of their place and they go places they create things and these are the people i'm talking to some of us have discovered that one little drop of blood over i intend to change the word of the world meaning l and to make it my way for the benefit of one yes i have rephrased the original sentence because you see i have a feeling that all means for the if i say benefit of all it means for the benefit of l i cannot make it for the benefit of l because this is what democracy has done so my truth is kingship the wise king is the one that can help the rest until the other ones mature so i shed one drop of my blood for the benefit of one and here i am creating the world love 